Good morning, good morning, good morning. First of all, if you have not enrolled in the free money course, the link is in the description. You should enroll because it's going to teach you how to optimize and set up your money. All right, so let's get into this video. I'm going to tell you a story. I had a friend many, many years ago. Let's call his name Ed. And Ed was maybe 5'10". Ed was balding. He had hair on the side of his head. He wasn't fat. He didn't work out. So, but he was kind of medium sized. He didn't have a belly or anything. And Ed was a salesman. And Ed was a really good salesman. And, you know, Ed actually saw, we were out to dinner, and Ed saw this really attractive woman. And Ed just went over there because he was a salesman. He, you know, this was one of the uh, things we used to talk about. If we don't try, we've already lost. So he went over there. She was at the table with her friends. He started talking to her. And then, you know, he got a name, her number, and he left. And then he called her up and he went on a date. And Ed, who's a salesperson, is married to this beautiful woman today. I believe they have three children. And let's go ahead and talk about why you need to learn how to sell stuff. Because this is one of the things that I can say from personal experience, that all of my friends who were good salespeople had no trouble with getting female companionship, none whatsoever. And all these guys were various heights, ways, height, weight, age, didn't matter. See, they knew how to sell themselves to the women. And this is one of the reasons that you need to learn sales because once you learn sales, you will learn how to talk and relate to people. And it's just not more than like right here. Let's say this is the product that you're selling, right? This is your product. You will learn how to sell this product, right? But here's some of the stuff that you will not learn. I had another friend who was a salesperson. He started a company. And we were out to dinner because he had spoken to a round of investors. And because he was a salesperson, he said, gentlemen, at the end of his pitch, he's like, gentlemen, this is what I want your money for. I want your money to do this, this, this. Who's in, who's not in, please let me know. So at that moment, he asked for the money and his pitch was really good because they gave him the money. And then this is something he told me. He said, one of the guys who was an investor, he was an older gentleman. He had been investing in companies for years. He says, I can literally count on one hand how many times someone gave us a pitch and turn around and directly asked us for the money on one hand. And he said he's been through dozens of these sales presentations. See, when you get into sales and I'll, I'll share a story with you. I was um, dealing with this couple and this was when I was selling office furniture and the husband was like, well, what do you think, dear? And the wife was like, well, uh, what do you think, dear? And I knew that they were deeply interested. And this is one of the things that you pick up when you get into sales, you pick up on personal psychology. And I knew that they were waiting on someone to make a decision. So who made the decision? I made the decision. I said, congratulations. And I just slid the contract across the table and the wife signed it because <laughs> they were they were almost there they just needed that little extra little push that little extra little push right so when you're in sales and th this is one of the things and I, I don't believe in i'm so cool i can sell ice to an eskimo 
Not talking about that. That is not sales. That is manipulation. That is conning. That is scams. Sales is when you have a customer that needs or can use your product. Uh, I remember one time uh, I was talking to someone and they were supposed to move and they were not moving. And I had a real honest conversation with the guy. It's like, so you're not moving. Nope, nope. The company has cut the budget. And I heard that cut the budget. So I said, pretty much you're not in the market for any new furniture. And he said, more than likely not. And I was like, okay, well, if you don't mind, I'll just follow up with you in two or three months just to see where you are and if things have changed. And I called him two or three, two months later, things were the same. And then I moved it to three months, called him three months later, things were the same. Then I moved it to six months, called him. And as far as I know, they're still in that same location. So one of the things that you will learn when you get into sales is how to communicate with people, how to talk to people, how to actually woo people, how to set things up from a sales perspective and how to communicate to people. And that there's many, many different things you'll learn. Number one, you will learn how to find leads because this is one of the things that I feel that has made me somewhat fearless is I know how to find leads. Cause like, you know, let me share to you what's going to happen with I eat fire and just go ahead and talk about the whole thing. Uh, one of the reasons that I rebranded the company and I rebranded the training is for the future because at the moment I use organic traffic to sell my courses in the future. I will use paid traffic. And this is really interesting right now. There's a big movement for people to sell their products and service using organic traffic. And this is one of the things I have been selling stuff using organic traffic pretty much for the last 14 going on 15 years. And I can tell you what happens with organic traffic that doesn't happen with a well executed paid traffic strategy. My organic traffic, it goes up and down. It goes up and down because every time a platform changes this algorithm, it directly impacts your traffic. And this is why, you know, last few years have been seven figure years, but it's been wild. And last year was barely a seven figure year. And one of the things that happened that I realized is I was going to have to literally change everything I was doing because what's going to happen. And this is once again, this, this is going to become really important in the sales conversation. I have to find leads. I have to identify people who can be leads. I will have to actually run test ads to get this thing figured out and then to create assets that I currently do not have. So once again, I fully expect to be spending once I get things sorted out, because this is one of the things you do not want to do. You do not want to spend a lot of money on ads until you have tested these ads and figured out which ads work really well. Does the headline work? Does the copy? This is the ad content. Does that work? Does the landing page work? And you know, you just go through that and you'll spend a little money. You could probably do that for about two to five thousand dollars to test these things out. Because here's the thing, if your ad will not work on a thousand dollar budget, it's not going to work on a million dollar budget because the thing is your ad has to work. So, and this is sales, this is sales because I already know for me to reach the targeted customer, I have to know who the targeted customer is, where they hang out and how to advertise to my targeted customer. So, this is one of the reasons that I literally broke my YouTube channels. I broke my training. I literally broke it all up because it's for the future. Because let me go ahead and say, if I'm running, if I'm spending $30,000 a month on ads on a pure execution strategy, I'll maybe spend 30 and I'll make 60 maybe 70 
and that's a really, and that's on the poor execution strategy because I'm spending a dollar and I'm getting it for every dollar I spend, I get two back. Now on a well-paid sales strategy, for every dollar that I spend, I would get four to 10 back. Once again, there's many, many different variables that go in there. So if I spend 30,000, that means I'll make 120. That means I'll get my 30,000 back and I get a profit of 90,000. So th this is one of the things that we're gonna get into in the training and things we're gonna talk about because a properly executed, well-placed ad paid ad strategy is going to literally slaughter an organic strategy because with organic strategies, you can only go so high unless you just, you go ahead and you become Kim Kardashian and you get like hundreds of millions of followers on Instagram, that's a whole different level. And you know, you get to that level, yeah, your organic would be massive. But for me, I would say early organic, was hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands. And then when I started to get good, I remember when I started making 50,000 a month consistently. And then that next year, I moved it up to 70 a month. And you know, once I got to 70, and then I got to 80, and then I got to 100,000, this is when I started to have these seven figure years. So. We're going to be talking about that because once again, all of this is sales. You first must know who you're selling to and does your product or service have a place in their life to make their lives better? Because that's the thing. You don't want to be trying to sell something to somebody and it doesn't make their life better. It doesn't really do the things that it needs to do to give them a good return. But once again, uh, later in the year, we'll be talking about using paid advertising and the strategies and all of these things that we can use to go ahead and to grow the business. Because sales, I mean, like for me, it's kind of automatic because the last, let me think, one, two, three, for the last few girlfriends have all been extremely submissive, attentive, kind, and very helpful. And that's because I have embedded my, my, my essence, my Mac into my approach. And this energy, and this is something that we'll be talking about, this energy draws the right type of woman to me. But there, there's so much you can learn about sales. There's so many things you can do with sales. So, you know, and this is one of the things that we're going to talk about in the corporate citizen um, playbook, sales, setting up a sales process and doing all this other stuff. So we have a lot of things that we're working on, a lot of things that we're doing. But once again, you, yes, you, you need to learn how to sell. You need to learn about the sales process. You need to learn how to participate in the sales process. You need to learn how to find leads. You need to learn how to talk to leads. You need to learn how to communicate with the people you are attempting, attempting to sell something to. Um, recently, I just put up an ad because this is one of the things. A lot of people do not want to be salespeople because they don't, I don't want to be salesy. And they think for some reason that sales is a bad thing. And I would say, if you have a crappy product, sales could be a bad thing. But if you think you have an excellent product, something that you know can help people, like, how did I start this video off? I started off selling you on the process of getting the free money management course. Started you on that process because I know for a fact the money management course will help you optimize your money, set your money on fire, and literally put yourself in a much better situation. So one of the things that you want to do, one of the things that you want to really, really focus on is opening yourself up to the possibilities of being great and to excel on greatness. So that's all I got for you guys today. My name is Glendon Cameron. This is AM Hustle. I will see you guys later on today in the next video.